having a great co-founder who is complementary in many ways, but most importantly, you share a very high level of trust. It's extremely important. So I've known Samir now for 30 years, longer than I've known my wife, who I've known for 28 <laughs> years. When, when we were graduating in the our slam book, I had written, the next time I work with you again, I'll lose my job. And he had written saying, the next time we work together, I'll make sure that you quit your job. So there's been the kind of three stages. There was the pre-Flipkart startup that we had, then Flipkart itself and then PhonePay. Flipkart experience, interestingly, was the toughest from a hiring perspective because it was at a phase when startups were not as sexy as obviously they are today. We built the payment stack on day one to cater to 10 million transactions a day. Because anyway, in payments, if we don't get to a number like that, there was no reason to exist. You can't be a consumer payments play in India trying to do less than that. But that's largely the principle that we operated in many ways for a lot of the stacks at uh, PhonePay to say that build for future scale, be future provision. Fortunately or unfortunately, startups raise money very fast. When you raise money and a VC comes in, the VC also says that, you know what, build it out like this, hire this team. Nothing wrong in that, but it kind of reduces these opportunities of learning from chaos.